Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Carla Jodwin and today I'm going to walk you through how I drew these beautiful periwinkle blooms that are growing in my garden right now. Let's just jump right in. The few things that I'm using are a good sketchbook, a kneadable eraser, an HB pencil, and a Secura of America Micron pen in black, and I'm using size 01. These are my favorite pens for sure. As always, I'll link all of the products that I'm using in the notes below. I'm going to start by doing a rough light sketch and pencil of the periwinkle. I'm going to look at the stem we pulled from my yard and just draw the outlines of what I see here. Keep this step really simple. This is just to create a guide so you know where to place the leaves and blooms when you're working with ink. Now, I'm going to dive in with my pen and start drawing the outer edges of each shape. Just focus on the outlines or the outside lines that you see in the blooms. This is the same process that I use every time that I draw, and it always seems to be the simplest way to draw flowers that look similar to what they look like in real life. I'm going to trace out the leaves and stems. Again, just focusing on the outlines or outer edges. No need to add details here. We'll do that all at once in the next step. If you're just starting out, you might find it useful to trace images of real flowers to help identify the edges. It's a really simple practice that can really elevate your drawings down the road.
Okay, now that the outer edges are all filled in, I'm going to come in with my pen and start adding some really quick detail lines. Nothing too fancy here. Just light lines that follow the curves of the leaves and petals and help to indicate where there's a bit of shadow and, and add dimension to the drawing. I'm starting the leaves with a few guidelines, just some parallel lines that stem from the center vein of the leaf outwards. Once I'm done, I'm going to come back in with some really light, quick, broken lines to help add a bit of a curved look to the leaf. Take a look while I finish the rest of the leaves with these quick strokes. See how they really start to pop off the page? Don't forget to rotate your paper or sketchbook as you work. It really helps you to get a good angle for your pen and feel like you're drawing more naturally. I try not to move the paper too much while I'm filming, but I just had to for these leaves. Once all the lines are filled in, that's it. We're done the drawing. The only thing left to do is remove a few of the excess pencil lines with your kneadable eraser. And there we have it. A quick drawing from life. Periwinkle that is growing wild in my garden right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget that the show notes below have the exact supplies that I use. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my drawing video uploads. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.